Okay, guys, it's been about 12 hours since I've had my um, back surgery done, the spinal decompression. I am at home. I was home by around 6 p.m. Um, we ended up having, it was scheduled for one, it ended up happening at noon because they were running really ahead, which is fine because it just meant I had to spend less time waiting around in the beginning. I'm in a lot of pain. Um, it's a lot of sharp pain. I've been trying to stay up on top of the meds. Um, it hasn't quite been doing as much as I need it to. Um, they have to kept they kept giving me a lot through the IV afterwards because I came out and I was in a lot of pain and they gave me like three different boosts of whatever the heck they put in the IV as well as the first dose of the oral medication that I'd have at home too and it got down to about a four to a three when I left but it's back up in the five almost six ish range depending on my um, position right now so I'm having some trouble. I should be in bed and it's lying down. It's supposed to be better than sitting up, but I am sitting on the couch with all my cushions and very carefully sitting up straight because I, I just, I had so much pain lying down. I couldn't even think. So I had to change. Um, I, I can walk and moving feels good, but I'm still not that steady. I still have some residual, like almost numbness in my leg that hasn't completely gone away so um wandering back around in the house in the middle of the night is not the best idea but i can do a little bit um, but i really don't want to start this off by falling um other issue i'm having some problems with is um i guess it's really common with general anesthesia i've just never had it is that you have a harder time emptying um your bladder so um, I don't necessarily feel like I've had a completely empty bladder since about 11 a.m. this morning, so that kind of sucks. And if you know me with my issues, um, it's making me very stressed out about going to bed, even though I'm trying not to let it get there. But at this rate, I am in too much pain to sleep anyway, so it is sort of moot. Um, yeah, so basically, it's not that I, I, I can pee, it's just very slow, and I don't feel like it empties thoroughly, and then... Um, <laughs> and then I'm not helping myself because I'm like really thirsty because I gave you such cotton mouth because you do have a tube, you know, a breathing tube down your throat when you have this surgery, even though it's not a long one, they still do that. Um, so yeah, I have a really dry mouth. It's already like really starting to dry out as I'm talking to you even. And so it's like, I want fluids and ice and stuff, but it, um, then makes other things difficult. So this is where I am. It's midnight. I have times where the medicine has been really hard and I feel like I could just fall asleep, but I have not been able to fall asleep because of the pain and the bladder stuff so far. So, um, obviously I, ha I have nothing on my schedule tomorrow because, and my husband will be home with me all day because it would be kind of stupid to have a full schedule the day after surgery. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm trying just to keep that in mind. My husband's trying to remind me that I don't, I am tired and it sucks, but I don't have anything I have to do other than try and heal on my schedule in the near future, so I just need to focus on that. So that is where I am. Um, hopefully it'll be better tomorrow. I'll probably do another one of these days the next day or two to let you know how the pain is getting better or worse and how I'm handling it. Um, I'm moving fairly well. I was worried about having trouble getting off the couch at all, but I have like a few tactics and I'm able to, you know, like roll and then sit up and prop and just, you know, move without the bending or the twisting that I'm not supposed to do fairly easily, um, I'd say. So, I mean, as easy as it is and it hurts, but, um that that has been good so far so i am going to say goodbye for now and i will be back um with another update for you fairly soon okay hey everyone i'm going to do kind of a just a morning video update for you um today it's the day after surgery um it's just kind of easier for me to talk um i'm sorry i'm looking way off it's so hard to film on the iphone with the 
camera over to the side. So, um, but anyway, yeah, it's easier for me to talk than to type because even though I feel clearer in the head, like I swear I cannot type without sounding like I'm completely drunk. And it's partly the pain medicine, but it's just, I'm just hitting the wrong keys. And then, um, the, uh, hold on. The, um, my brain doesn't work. It just randomly doesn't work. Yeah. And then the autocorrect comes in. So anyway, um, kind of a rough-ish night. It's just hard to find how to sleep. I was having some, um, residual, like, I don't know, bladder issues from the general anesthesia where it just doesn't, wasn't emptying my bladder entirely. It's getting better. Um, it's still continuing to get a lot better, but I finally figured out a way to sleep, but sleeping flat was making that hurt on top of my back injury hurt. And I managed to find a way to like prop myself up on my side, like pretty straight up and down. Um, so the doctor said I could do, and that took a lot of pain off. So after that, I was able to get some sleep. Um, my voice still sounds terrible. I still have just, um, the bad voice from having like the tube down my throat during surgery. So right now it hurts. Um, and I'm just trying to find ways that are comfortable. And, um, right now it just, it kind of feels like a bad flare and it's more that I worry that I'm going to sit or move somewhere stupid. That's going to make it worse, but, um, I should be okay. I mean, all the doctors and the nursing staff seem very pleased with how I am and how I'm looking and how I was doing. So I'm assuming that's all good. And then, yeah, I'll just give you another update later. It's just so much easier for me to talk than to try and, um, type. So I will talk to you later. Bye. Hey guys, it's me. Um, this is day three after the surgery, two days post-surgical. So that was Thursday and today is Saturday. Um, you can probably tell just from my voice and such that I'm having um, a difficult day. Yesterday was tough and so far today is actually tougher, um, which I guess can be normal. I'm having a really hard time finding a way to sit that is um, not even just comfortable, but doesn't make me feel insecure, if that makes sense. Um, I feel like a lot of things make my upper thigh and my leg kind of shaky, so it makes me nervous. And um, so, yeah, I'm having a lot of anxiety today, which I think is coming out because I have such a, a fear of re- injuring myself before I even recover. So every time I shift to try and make myself comfortable, I'm, I'm afraid it's the wrong move and I might hurt myself. And I know that's unlikely and the doctors seem to think it was very unlikely that that would happen, but that is feeding into my paranoia fairly strongly. So, um, a fair amount of people have already reached out to me and are doing things like providing food, and just emotional support, and I really appreciate it, and I hope I don't come across as ungrateful, but my mind is so painkiller scrambled right now, and it doesn't even help that much, the painkillers, although maybe it'd be a thousand times worse if I wasn't taking them, but it still doesn't feel like they're having as much as an effect as I really need them to. So, um, I got through a shower, though it made me paranoid. I hate having cuts and incisions in my body. I had the same thing with the C-section. I am so afraid it's going to like just open up. Um, that's just like one of my hugest fears. So getting water on it was just kind of nerve wracking to me, but I'm clean. <laughs> so, um, not shaven, but clean. So there's my attempt at sort of humor. Um, I'm going to leave this right here today. Um, if you've been following me along on social media, um, thanks for your support, and, um, I'm going to continue to try and keep my head up, so, um, thanks for watching this, and hopefully the next update I can give you a little calmer, and things will be starting to move in the right direction. All right. Bye. 
you guys it is wednesday the, i don't know what date anyway it's the wednesday after um my surgery so i'm six days date six days out um and they're starting to normalize a little i had a couple of really bad days that third day is no joke like no joke at all like it, it just about took me out and then I've been having, I have the hardest time right around, um, like five to seven. It's like, no matter when I take painkillers, it, it gets the best of me. And I just, I, I just have a really difficult time keeping the pain at bay and eating dinner and doing stuff with the kids. And I think by that time, it's just that I've been up long enough that, uh, the positions I can sit or lay in, I've started to kind of exhaust. Um, so that gets kind of difficult. And then, so I have to work harder to stay on top of the pain meds. And sometimes I can get to a point where I can lie down on the one side for a while. Um, it's funny, I'm having pain on the non-injury side because I've been sleeping exclusively on that side and I'm not used to doing that. So I tend to flip over on my back in the middle of the night, but I have pillows to keep me from doing that because I'm not really supposed to be flipping myself um, without being extremely cautious. So it's um, it's been an interesting uh, experience so far. There's been a lot of rough days. There's been... Um, I, I, showering scares the crap out of me because I just, I'm so insecure about having this incision in my back. I, it's so insecure. Like, I just, I know that they know what they're doing, but I just, my brain, anytime I feel pressure on the area, can just imagine it being like ripped open and just horrors, even though it's a one inch incision. It's not like even if it did come apart, I'm going to die from it before I could get medical help, but it just, it freaks me out. And, you know, it's to the point where it gets itchy, especially if anything touches it, and then it's on your back. And, you know, you're not really supposed to lie on your stomach so much. So I pretty much, most positions I have to fiddle with until I can't feel it anymore. And then I can only stay in that position so long. Um, so that's been interesting, I guess is the diplomatic word for that. Um, difficult, definitely. I've been, I try to get up and I move, I walk around the house, I putter around the house, um, I've been out on very short, like, quarter of a mile, maybe, walks, um, one last night that was really shaky, we went after dinner, and I think it may have been too late in the day, and I just got to the halfway point where if we would have turned around, it would have taken the same amount of time to go back, so we just continued the loop, and, but I was really, I could do it, and it wasn't, horrendously painful but I was really unsteady and it made me feel not good um today my mom was over in the afternoon and she went with me around like one ish and we did the same like loop and I did a lot better I still went slow and careful but I didn't have the weakness so much and it wasn't like nerve-wracking like last last night was a little nerve-wracking because I just it's so hard when your body's been through something like this to trust it and you don't know how much you should trust it because you don't want to do too much and mess something up because right now the biggest danger for me is not hurting the incision or you know something like that it's that I just do something stupid during recovery that um, prevents me from recovering or re messes up the nerves or does something along those lines and so that's sort of the big pressure and it's hard to know because you know you sit and you walk and you lie in one position to tolerance but it's really hard to know when it's just you're just gonna be uncomfortable no matter what or when it's your body telling you it's too much or it, it's just it's so hard to differentiate what's what and it makes me nervous so um you know I've been having to take especially when I have the pain get gets kind of out of control 
at like night or if I just I can't find a position where I'm comfortable and I've kind of exhausted my options because I've been using them all day long you know it, it and then I end up having to do stuff to treat anxiety and take anti-anxiety um, medications and do stuff to help physically calm myself down or else I just I get worked up and you know I have a lot of the things I would normally do to keep my anxiety down I cannot do um, walking was a big one and just getting that nervous energy out and I really can't do that so that's difficult um, it is day by day getting better little by little I get a little steadier I'm a little bit more like I'm comfortable being by myself um, you know, it's gonna start. Right now, I'm still, the hardest part is not being able to stay in a position for too terribly long because then it's not even a matter of being bored. It's a matter of just trying to find a spot long enough to be able to take your mind off things. So, um, yeah, I've been doing crochet. I've been playing, um, replaying Ocarina of Time on the Game Boy. Um, that's mostly what I've been doing. I have not been able to edit videos yet, which has been a bummer. I was hoping to be able to edit, but I just, I can't, I have not found a position to sit at my computer that I can get anything done more than just a few minutes. So, uh, this vlog has gone really, really long, so I'm going to stop now, but it's been almost a week, so I kind of wanted to give you, like, a, a more thorough update. I cannot remember whether I've done two or three before this. Um, I'm such a fog and I still get about an hour after I take pain medication although I've gotten it a little bit less than it was um, it's like I just get this like half hour or so of total brain fog where it's just like the neurons are just not firing and it's disturbing um, which is why I don't want to be on painkillers long term but you know on the other hand I also need to stay ahead of this pain so yeah, um, that's where we're at. I will update you, I don't know, when there's something new to talk about. I have a follow-up next week, so definitely after the follow-up. Um, and otherwise, before that, just if something, I think, changes significantly. So um, until then, I will see you soon.